And clip 11, I found this from JMAC, J-M-A-C, 52309 on TikTok. Video text reads, Greg Locke can't handle the truth. When you have nothing, insult and kick him out. And so here's this video, Greg Locke's meltdown, supposedly. Greg Locke is this very famous Christian pastor, apparently, I guess, 2.2 2. 2 million followers on uh, Facebook. And he debated this young up-and-comer, or this up-and-comer, maybe not that young, named Dean Audle, also a pastor. Flat earthers travel across the country, writes this JMAC person on TikTok. Just to be kicked out, this is no man of God, hashtag, hashtag firmament, hashtag flat earth, hashtag truth, hashtag indoctrination, hashtag space, space is fake, hashtag, hashtag NASA lies, hashtag biblical cosmology, hashtag biblical truth, hashtag Greg Locke, hashtag Dean Ogle, Odell, hashtag global vision Bible church. And it was an eight minute and 25 second, I guess it was the end of the uh, discussion. And it got quite interesting. They get in each other's faces. And then, like, one at the end, one is, like, throwing, oh, you don't believe the Bible? Get out of here. Get out of my church. (laughs) And and so the guy throws the mic. You don't throw the mic? If Bill could get to him, Bill the engineer. So I cut it down to six minutes, which is not that much less. But here is uh, the little uh, debate without further ado. The end of it. Now, first of all, I want to say this. Talking like a pastor. And uh, let me go back to my notes here that I made while you were speaking. Trendy pastor. First of all, you say you're okay with us believing flatter. Then you say that it's end time deception. Then you talk about this is you, Dean don't, you don't want to insult people, but then you say things like you make God a liar if you believe flat earth. So I don't see how that you called us clowns. I didn't say that tonight. No, but you said it through this whole thing. So what I'm saying is, is that we, the the people out here that are getting a little upset with you is because the way that you insult people. Hey, don't insult. Oh, no, 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 wait. Uh Uh-uh. You said we weren't Christians if we didn't believe in flat earth. Yes, you most certainly did say that. Oh, no. Absolutely. (laughs) Don't you shout me down in my own church. Listen to me. I never said, and this is a fact. Absolutely you did. I preached this for years. Don't interrupt me. Look at their style. I have said for years, you do not have to believe in flat earth biblical cosmology to be a born again Christian. I have never made that an issue. We'll rewind the video tonight when we're done when you said... That we're not biblical Christians World if story. we do not hey, adhere hey, to the flat earth model. When you used mom. to speak out against tongues and deliverance, you were not a biblical Christian in that area. And guess what? Tongues is a gift Pointing. of the Holy Spirit. Flat earth is not a gift of the Holy Spirit. It's in the Bible. Are what a heretical look, bunch of nonsense. Do I, do, do I get to do my rebuttal without you interrupting me or uh, not? Quit asking me questions if you don't want me to rebuttal back. Do I need to, You said you would Whoa. speak, then I would get a rebuttal. Yeah. Let me have I was still speaking, but chest. I've been nice enough to let you jump up and rebuttal. Let me finish. So let me, rebuttal. Let me actually give one without interrupting. Then don't ask me a question. Rebut. I was hoping that things would stay sweet and nice between us, but it's not the case. <clears throat> and so what I did was I rented a room at the, uh, at the Marriott. What? For tomorrow morning, if anybody wants to come have church with Fire and Grace Church. Absolutely. What? Because I'm not going to sit here under this kind of belligerent attacks and calling people names and stuff like that. You told me that I was involved in a deception. You are. And then when I say it, you're like, oh my no, goodness, that's fine. my feelings that's fine. are hurt. We believe each other's deceived in there. That's fine. But when you say moronic, idiotic, when you start going down... I didn't road. call you or anybody that. If me being deceived means I believe in a spherical earth, I'm deceived, and you can just go ahead and leave and cancel this debate right now because you're not going to convince me what the Bible clearly says. The earth is not flat 1,000%, and if I got people in our church that think it is, that's great. I love you, but if you want to go to his little service in the morning, then go to his (laughs) service in the morning. It's not going to bother me one bit. I gave you the scriptures. He gave you his version. It's always somebody else's version. Hold on, hold on, hold on. No, no, this you, is nonsense. You came up with your scriptures and gave your interpretation of them. I gave mine. I gave you the Bible interpretation. I gave you the Bible. It. I gave more Bible than you did for a fact right there. All right. Oh, really? Bible. That's a fact. Well, I'll tell you what. How about, how about in your rebuttal, I'll keep my mouth shut and you tell me how wrong I was about your misapplication of the ring stamping no, 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 uh, yeah, in Job yeah. chapter 38. First of all, hello. Is it sunrise or not? Not. 
Not at all. I don't agree with Turn you. Turn his mic off. Get out. What? Wow. You're a Bible denier. Look at that. He don't You're throw the denier. mic and he knocked it away. You're a Bible denier. That is ridiculous. Bible denier. Just get out. What? I don't understand that. This is like four get hours band in. up here. Woo! Let's worship the Lord. I ain't putting up with this nonsense no more. I gave you our platform. Big platform. And y'all want to get up here with a bunch of nonsense. Come up here, band. Let's worship the Lord. We're going to... We're going to actually do something spiritual in this room tonight instead of talk about flat earth nonsense. And by the way, if you go to this church and you're upset about me taking the Bible in its context and dealing with it, and you're going to keep sowing that discord, don't ever come back. That's all I'm going to tell you right now. Don't, I'm not listening. It's a last day's deception. I do not What's care if it's a UFC in smackdown to the mat. I would highly <laughs> suggest that people keep their mouth shut, get in their car, and go where they need to be. We'll see you at 10.30 in the morning. We're going to have a packed house, and we're going to preach what the Bible says. If you believe the Bible, Global Vision, shout amen! What? What a mess. <laughs> They're both so angry, says Lord Bibby 42 Yeah. Esoteric over on kick.com slash the hate report says, I don't think Jesus ever debated or corrected anybody about flat earth or round earth. Get out of my church. You're not, you're a Bible denier. That was unclassy to say, uh, oh, I'm not going to this church. I'm going to go to, going to hold my own church service on a, at the Marriott. Pastor Dean Audle, Pastor Greg Locke. To me, it looked like, a uh, egos fighting. All puffing up on, didn't the Bible say have nothing to do with useless arguments, genealogies, and stuff like that? There shouldn't be discord and division. But sure enough, even these pastors are doing it, along with the unruly crowd. One is judging, the, like one group was judging Pastor Greg Locke and not seeing their own hero, his flaws. And the other was uh, that. Some people were like, I just see... Uh, I just see a whole lot of pride on that stage, not a whole lot of humility. I know that people get puffed up on the pride and they get, you can't necessarily just look down on them for a bad moment. So I wouldn't want to call these phony pastors, even though I do want to call them phony pastors. But that was a bad moment. Looked pretty ugly to me on many sides. On many sides.